Hello friends! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video in my holiday countdown series. In this tutorial, we'll be making a classic traditional Christmas tumbler. We're going to use some patterned vinyl, we're going to use some foil, a really cute decal, and I really thought it came together well. As always, I'll have a full supply list along with discount codes down in the description box for you. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages, a link to join my Facebook group, and a link to sign up for my exclusive mentorship group. That is a great place to join if you want a really great supportive community, extra content from me, and a whole bunch of additional benefits. So again, all of that is down in the description box for you. Let me know what you think of this video down below in the comments. If you enjoy it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Videos. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoy. Let's go! For this design, we are going to use a 30 ounce skinny straight screw top tumbler. We are going to customize the lid, so I'm going to take that off and we will deal with that later. And then for the tumbler, we're going to start with our vinyl wrap. For the vinyl wrap, we are going to use this super cute classic Santa pattern. This is from the Vinyl Cottage, and the name of the pattern is Saint Nick. I will link this down below in the description box for you if you want to use the same one. It is so cute. I love classic Santa. So we're going to do a half split on here. So on our cup, we want to determine like how much of the plaid foil we want to do versus how much Santa we want. This is totally up to you. If you want more foil, you'll just use a smaller piece of vinyl and vice versa. Doesn't really matter. Just do whatever makes your heart happy. So for me, I'm going to take my tape here and I'm just going to estimate where I want my vinyl to go. And I think I'm going to go almost a perfect half and half. I'm not going to measure though. I'm just going to follow my heart. Now this tape line is just a guide. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Our vinyl edge is gonna be perfectly straight. So this is just a guide to help me measure. Now that we have our section mapped off, we can trim down our vinyl to fit. So I'm just going to take an estimate. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra cause I have to cut this white off. So I'm just gonna make a little mark here on the vinyl right there so I can trim it up. Okay, so we've got this much vinyl left, so plenty to do another project. And here's our strip that's going to go on our tumbler. So now we can take this tape away. You can save it because we'll use it later. And I am going to leave just a little bit of stainless down at the bottom. So I'm going to take my Sharpie. And using my cup cradle as my guide, I'm just going to draw a straight line on my cup. And we're going to use that as the helper to place our vinyl. So I'm going to pull back a little bit of this backing here, cut away that piece so we've got adhesive exposed. I'm going to line up my straight edge of vinyl with the straight edge that I've drawn on my tumbler. Lay that down, wrap it around to make sure we're gonna be straight. And then I'll use my squeegee to push the vinyl down onto the cup. So this seems kind of obvious, but that's okay. It's not too, too bad. All right, so now we can take that same piece of tape that we used in the beginning, and we're just gonna line up the straight edge of our tape with the top edge of our vinyl. And we're gonna paint the top section of our tumbler white. I'm just gonna use some white acrylic paint.
Now this white is just going to be the base for our Buffalo Check glitter. So you want your coverage to be good, but it doesn't need to be super duper perfect. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we will apply our foil. All right, so our white base here is dry. We're ready to go in with our foil. So I'm gonna use my Southern Mel Glitter Foil Adhesive. And I'm just gonna brush a thin layer of this all over this top portion of my tumbler. And then we will dry it and apply our foil. To dry my foil, I'm using my heat gun, but you can also just put this on and then let it sit for like 30 to 60 minutes and it will be ready for you to apply your foil. I just prefer to use the heat gun to speed up the process because I'm impatient. All right, and we're just gonna check and see if this is ready. What I'm gonna do is cut this piece away and we're gonna use it, well, I'll use it for something. We're just going to measure basically the height that we're going to need. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my foil, because I want to get this as lined up as possible. I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to lay my cup down on one end of the foil, making sure that everything is covered. And then I'm just going to wrap my cup with the foil because I want to get as much coverage as we can. I just want to make sure it's really well adhered. If you want a more opaque look, you can always just use like patterned vinyl or something if you want to. But I like the rustic kind of old look that the foil gives us. So there's our foil top, and now we can remove this tape as well. So now what I'm going to do is um, just epoxy right over this, and then we will move on to the next step. All right, so we've got a layer of epoxy on our tumbler. Now we're going to go right into our decal work. Here's the seam of our vinyl. So we're going to just flip our cup directly onto the other side. We're gonna put our decal down. So I've got this kind of bleach spot section. This is from the Vinyl Cottage. And I'm gonna lay this down first to help our decal pop off of this Buffalo Check background just a little bit better. This decal is from Peachy Olive Glitters. I'll have both of them linked down below in the description box for you. So what I'm going to do first is take our bleach spot and I'm just gonna place it right in the middle here you can see it's really opaque and it's going to give us a really nice background for that decal. Just make it pop off of the plaid and you can still see plenty of the plaid. All good. Okay, so now that we've got our bleach spot on, one thing we need to do is epoxy over this or if you prefer you can paint it with clear gloss spray or something. But this has kind of a matte finish to it and if we were to take this decal and put it on top, these spots underneath this clear vinyl are not going to shine back up and you're going to see the outline of the decal underneath um, the epoxy that we add on top of this. So I'm going to epoxy over this to make it totally shiny. Then we can add our decal on top. So now that we've got our bleach spot on, we can move to our next element. We're going to add some striping. So I'm going to take this one stripe and I'm going to put this right in between our foil and our vinyl. And we are gonna add another one of these later, but I wanna just put this one on, we'll finish the bottom of the cup, and then we'll add the other one. If you prefer to add them both at the same time, that's totally fine too. Order doesn't really matter. 
Okay, so now that we've got that stripe added, we can move to the bottom of our cup. And I'm not going to cut off the excess here. I'm just going to let it. So now for the bottom of the cup, we're going to keep things pretty simple down here. What I'm going to do is tape off this bottom section. Right where my vinyl ends. I'm going to glitter this with Suki from Peachy Olive Glitters. Now I was testing my foil on the bottom, so you can just ignore that. So I'm going to take a little bit of my red acrylic paint. And I'm going to mix it with my Crystalac glitter glue. Obviously way too much, just as usual. I'm just going to paint the bottom of my cup and get it ready to be glittered. Now, because Suki is such a metallic full coverage glitter, you don't need perfect coverage with your paint. So just make sure you get a little bit of red tint on there, your glue as well dispersed, and then you can go right in with your glitter. You do not need perfect paint coverage for this glitter. I'm gonna remove my tape right away, and then I'm gonna let this sit and dry for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna seal it with my Crystallite glitter glue before I add epoxy. Okay, so we've got a really, really, really thin coat of epoxy over our whole tumbler here. This is maybe 10 milliliters on a 30 ounce cup. So super duper thin. All I really wanted was to shine this up so that we can put our decal on and then we'll add like an actual coat of epoxy. So I'm gonna take my decal off the backing and I'm just gonna place it as centered as I can within this bleach spot. It's actually not quite centered, so we're gonna try again. <laughs> okay. It's centered, but not straight. Okay, there we go. It's about as good as we're gonna get it. Not perfectly centered, but centered enough. I think that you can obviously still see it. So now I'm gonna sand down this top rim really well so that we can form a really good final seal with our epoxy. I'm gonna shave down the edge for the top rim first. And then we'll sand it down and we'll do an actual real coat of epoxy over the whole tumbler. We'll probably use about 25 milliliters of epoxy. All right, so like I said, we're gonna add a coat of epoxy over this to make sure that everything is totally smooth. Remember, we don't have a lot of epoxy down at the bottom of our tumbler, and we want that glittered area to be really smooth. So I'm gonna add about 25 milliliters of my Flint Sisters Artist Cure Epoxy over the entire cup so that we have a nice smooth surface to finish this off. I am going to add another little gold stripe the same way we did to the middle of the tumbler. Now that that glittered area on the bottom is smooth, we can go in and add that final stripe to finish the bottom of the tumbler out. And now we can move on to the top of our tumbler. Remember, we have that stainless steel screw on lid. We're just gonna do a really simple solid glitter color on this. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on how you like epoxy this. I'm gonna do that in a later tutorial. This video is kind of long, so I just wanted to shorten it up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is sand down the stainless part of my lid, and then I'm gonna take a little foam insert that I use for my 20 ounce skinny tumblers, and I'm gonna stick that right into the lid. It fits perfectly. And then I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'm gonna tape the heck out of it. I want the lid to stay on this foam insert as it spins. So I taped that up, and then I'm gonna take another piece of electrical tape, and I'm gonna tape it right along the black border that's on the very bottom of the stainless part of the lid. You can kind of see it there. So I'm just being really careful trying to tape that piece off because I don't want to get any epoxy or glitter on that area. I want to keep everything just on the stainless steel part of the lid. I'm gonna take another little piece of electrical tape and I'm gonna tape up that middle section where the straw is gonna go. So I'm gonna put the piece of tape there, cut it out with my craft knife, and then we'll just have that hole plugged up. 
And then I'm gonna take my red acrylic paint and we're gonna paint and glitter this using the same glitter we used for the bottom of the tumbler. So the top and the bottom will be the same. So I'm gonna do one coat of paint just by itself. Of course I used too much. And then I'm gonna let that dry for maybe like 20, 25 minutes. And I'm gonna take the excess paint that I put on my lid I kind of shaved it off into a medicine cup and I just added some glitter glue into that medicine cup. So now I'm going in with my second coat. So this is the paint again mixed with the glitter glue and we're gonna use that to adhere our glitter. We're using Sookie again, the same color we used on the bottom. And I'm going to, once I've got this glitter and I'm gonna remove that middle piece, I did have to touch up a couple little areas around there just by hand. So I just took a little paintbrush and touched that up. And then what I'm gonna do is let this sit and dry for a couple hours, spray seal it with a coat of clear spray, and then I'm going to epoxy it the same way that I do a cup. So I put it on my turner, I just added my epoxy, and that's the part I'm gonna cover in an upcoming tutorial. So stay tuned for that. But once your lid is all done, you're all done with your tumbler design. So here's the final look. I really, really love how this turned out. I think everything goes together so well. It really gets me in the Christmas mood. I know it's only November, but Halloween is over, which means Christmas is here. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Let me know what you think down below in the comments, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Okay, love you. Bye.